the headlines. The biggest air disruption in America since 9-11. Officials say a damaged database file caused a technical fault that forced flights to be grounded across the U.S. Tens of thousands of ambulance workers and call handlers go on strike in England and Wales. Six months after protests over the cost of living, Sri Lanka imposes huge tax hikes and slashes spending. And he's described as one of the greatest ever guitarists. Jeff Beck has died at the age of 78. Our headlines today. Health leaders urge ministers and unions to reach an agreement over NHS strikes as they warn future industrial action could intensify the risk to patients. Plans to allow some people to keep their sickness and disability payments if they return to work under government plans to boost the workforce. Good morning. Unable to top up and going without electricity. New figures show more prepayment customers than ever before are struggling to maintain their supply. Jeff Beck, one of the most influential rock guitarists of all time, dies at the age of 78. Sir Rod Stewart says he was the greatest. Good morning. A big shock in the League Cup as Southampton, who are bottom of the Premier League, knock out Manchester City to reach the semi-finals, while Nottingham Forest also threw beating Wolves on penalties. A career change for Spice Girl Mel C as she takes up contemporary dance and has she looking forward to performing in front of her bandmates. I know Mel B will be there, Jerry will be there. We all have a background in dance, so I'm sure they're going to be really intrigued. Thursday morning, let's have a look at some of the front pages of the papers for you, starting with the Daily Telegraph reporting that more than 750,000 households are at risk of defaulting on their mortgages over the next two years as rising borrowing costs make payments unaffordable. The paper says that more than 200,000 households fell behind on payments at the end of last June. Now, the Times focuses on government plans that would allow people to continue claiming sickness benefits after returning to work. The paper says the proposals are aimed at boosting the economy and getting more people into employment. The Guardian leading on the story about ministers being urged to stop the installation of prepayment meters, reporting that more than three million people had their electricity or gas disconnected last year after they ran out of credit. And standing firm is the Sun's front page headline as it describes Catherine, the Princess of Wales, as defiant following revelations from Prince Harry's book and television interviews. The paper reports that other senior royals, the Duke of Sussex, is turning the king's coronation into a circus at the morning's front pages shall we and the metro is suggesting that rail strikes could continue for an extended period with the rmt leader mick lynch refusing to entertain the idea of driver only trains same old johnson that's the mirror's front page which carries claims that downing street staff destroyed evidence ahead of a commons investigation into partygate the Times has news of a government plan to let people keep their benefits and go back to work to try to boost the economy. But for some, it may be too late. The Telegraph reports that up to three quarters of a million borrowers may be on the verge of defaulting on their mortgages, especially young people. And The Express weighs in with news that the cost of living crisis has shattered the retirement plans of millions of workers after their bills went through the roof. The Daily Mail leads with a new report which says that pregnant women and new mothers are being abandoned by the NHS as services decline compared with five years ago. The Eye has some better health news, a new study which shows that the symptoms of long COVID should disappear within a year for those who develop it after only a mild infection. The Financial Times has word of cyber attacks on its competitor, The Guardian, as well as the Royal Mail, with concerns that it could be part of a wider wave of digital crime. But The Guardian itself leaves that story off its own front page, instead reporting that there are calls to ban the forcible installation of energy prepayment meters in the homes of people who fail to keep up with their bills. And The Sun focuses on the fallout from Prince Harry's new book and pictures the Princess of Wales standing firm, they say. And The Star says it's banning further mention of the Duke though even they aren't sure if they'll stick to it. 
And uh, just to let you know that if you want to see any of those front pages again or read the stories, you can scan the QR code on your screen now and that's going to take you to the press review.